Hi everyone, I'm Craig from Retire Before Dad. Today I'm going to record my screen as I complete my 2023 Fidelity Roth conversion. This is the first time I've done a Roth conversion, but I've been researching this financial maneuver for several months. After I complete the online transaction, I'll talk more about the benefits of a Roth conversion, why I waited until 2023 to do it for the first time, and when it might be appropriate for you. Okay, I'm logged into my Fidelity account, and I found this URL that was really helpful for me to convert an account to a Roth IRA at Fidelity. It shows this diagram of what I'm about to do. You take current tax-deferred retirement account money, either from a 401k or an IRA, and you convert that to an, a Roth IRA. You pay tax on the amount you convert, but any future earnings grow tax-free in a Roth IRA. And more importantly, when you go to withdraw this money, you can withdraw tax-free. Unlike a traditional IRA, where you need to take required minimum distributions in your 70s, and you need to pay taxes on those withdrawals. Scroll down and you'll find these five questions that'll help determine if converting to a Roth IRA makes sense for you. Can you pay the taxes? And in here, there's a Roth conversion calculator. I use this calculator to determine what my tax was gonna be. New Retirement has a free calculator as well. I'll link to the URL in the description. I found this one to be even more helpful than Fidelity's. At this point, most people know if they're gonna complete the Roth conversion or not. But you can scroll down here and there's a button, click that and you can get started on the conversion. You can also start the transfer like you do any other transfer at Fidelity from your dashboard on the transfer tab. Let's begin your Roth conversion. So I'm gonna do this now for you. This is real money that I'm gonna transfer. I've never done this before, but I've done a lot of research. This seems really straightforward, but I called Fidelity anyways, just to make sure I had my ducks in a row, that I wasn't overlooking anything and to make sure I understood the tax consequences. All right, select the IRA you would like to convert. Here's a list of my accounts. I'm gonna choose the traditional IRA. Now select the Roth IRA that you'd like to convert to. I only have one Roth IRA, so I'm gonna to convert to that one. Scroll down and you come to this tax withholding information. This is Fidelity asking you to acknowledge that you are going to have to pay taxes on this. By default, Fidelity is not going to withhold taxes because it says it's a good idea to avoid paying taxes up front on the money you're converting. That way you're going to have more money in the Roth when this is over. All right, so I understand that I will likely have to pay taxes later. Now you'll decide how much of your IRA you want to transfer to the Roth IRA. I'm doing a partial transfer because this is a pretty large IRA and I'm only converting a small amount. So I'm going to choose convert some of my account. I'm transferring $15,000 from my cash reserves. So I'm just gonna put in the 15,000 here and then scroll down and click continue. All right, so the last step is to review your transfer before you submit. Everything looks good, so I'm gonna submit. And it's done. This is an immediate transfer. There's the details, the confirmation number with the accounts and the date and the amount. Just go over to my Roth IRA account and I can see the Roth conversion is complete and it's done. Now that my Roth conversion is complete, let's talk about the benefits. Investments in traditional and Roth IRAs both tax-free, but when you withdraw money from a traditional IRA, 401k or similar accounts, that's counted as ordinary income and it's taxed. Furthermore, when you hit age 73, the government wants you to start taking minimum required distributions, or MRDs. That rule results in having to remove money from your retirement accounts and causes a taxable event. Roth IRAs have at least two advantages. Withdrawals are tax-free and there's no MRDs. The more money you can get out of a traditional retirement product and into a Roth account gives you more flexibility down the line. The main downside with a Roth conversion is you get a tax bill in the year of the conversion. You need to have cash available or be expecting a refund to make this work. So why am I doing this in 2023 voluntarily giving myself a tax bill? The Roth conversion works best when you're in a lower tax bracket. I left my full-time career in 2022, so my income is much lower than previous years. I'm self-employed and we have multiple income streams for our family, but we have a significant tax deduction this year because of the healthcare premiums we're paying for COBRA. So we're gonna have a relatively low tax burden this year, making this tax bill easy to absorb. Plus I'm only converting $15,000. I'm going to invest this money into the Fidelity Total Stock Market Index, the FSKAX. At a 7% return, this money could be worth $75,000 or more when I turn 73. 
that's $75,000 less that will be subject to the MRDs and taxes. My intent is to execute a conversion every year as long as the numbers make sense, because our traditional accounts have nine times as much money as our Roth accounts. If you're considering a Roth conversion, check out Fidelity's five questions that I showed you earlier, use the calculators I showed you, and try to estimate the tax consequences. The Roth conversion is really useful in early retirement when your income drops significantly. If you're still earning a high salary today, it may not make sense. Well, that's all for this video. The description below has links to all the URLs I mentioned earlier. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I'm Craig from Retire Before Dad. I create content around personal finance, DIY investing, and financial independence. Go to my website to subscribe to my weekly newsletter. Thanks for watching.